one of the most common things that people want to do on a laser is they want to take an image and turn it into a vector um, so that it can be engraved or cut. This is an image. Um, I just copied and pasted it off of the internet. And this is an image. You can tell because it's on an image layer over here. To turn this into a vector, I'm going to use the image trace tool. So I'm going to go to tools, trace image. Now down here, you're going to see this threshold. The threshold is going to determine which areas of this are and are not included in our trace. And as we move this up and down, it will change what's included in this image. And, and this image is, is not terribly um, uh, complex. But you can see here, as I slide this over, right, I'm going to start from this very left hand side over here. It's, it's currently getting basically everything. It's getting these, these lighter grays in here. Uh, it's getting the black. It's getting the white. You can see that the, the inside of the nose is vectorized. The outside of the nose and mouth are also uh, going to be turned into vector paths. As I slide this threshold up, though, you will see that the nose, the interior of the nose, will disappear. right? And that is because we are passing the threshold of this gray color here and and we are now excluding it from our trace so if I were to trace this with the nose let's go ahead and hit OK now I can drag this off let's put it on a fill layer you can see that this is this is how that would look now if I come back here and I trace it again and let's zoom in here and this time let's Let's move the threshold so it does not include that little nose portion. Now, when I drag this over here, you can see that the interior of the nose, the interior of those ears are not included in that trace. One limitation of Lightburn is that is that it only is going to vectorize in black and white. And for a lot of people, that's going to be a problem, especially if you're uh, trying to split an image into certain uh, or different layers so that you can do kind of a 3D or 2.5D burn on something. Only being able to get black and white out of a trace is is not that wonderful. So I'm going to show you the same process but in Illustrator. I'm going to open up Illustrator. I'm going to paste my panda bear here inside Illustrator and you'll see that, that it has brought in this, this clear uh, I'm sorry, not clear, the transparent background from what is probably this PNG off of the internet. And what I can do is I can use my threshold tool here to move the slider back and forth. Uh, let's turn on our preview. Move the slider back and forth to get more or less of those, those uh, uh, squares in the background. So I'm going to come up here and let's just do it right about there. Now, what I can do is um, notice that the inside of the nose is, is not there anymore. The inside of the ears is not anymore. So let's back it down a little bit more. There we go. All right. Now, if I hit expand up here, this has now been turned into a vector and it has been expanded into individual paths and fills. And if I get my sub selection tool, click out of here and click on one of these, you can see that I have a separate path and fill set for that face, which I don't have in Lightburn when I trace the image in Lightburn, right? That, that face is empty. So I cannot assign the interior of that face, that white portion of that face, white portion of the ears, white portion of the stomach. I cannot assign those to a layer because they're not there. But in Illustrator, because I have, and, and let's move this off of our, um, of our artboard a little bit here so you can see what's going on. It even brought in the background, but I can remove the background. I can just click the background with my sub selection tool and delete it. And now you see that I have these, these, these paths and fills that are for the face, for the ear, you know, for the interior of the eye, the nose, all that. Um, they're there. They're there, so I could potentially assign those to layers if I wanted to. And that's where Illustrator is more powerful for the trace function than, um, than Lightburn is. But Lightburn will do it quick and dirty if you absolutely need it.